Hey guys, I am Derek Van Itwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So I am back home from house sitting. I had a good time. Um, little Miss, look it's funny, at home, when people come in my house, Little Miss is the adventurous one that she will come up to the people in the house. Max always goes to the bathroom and just hides until people are gone. Um, but at David's house, I, I kept them in the back bedroom by themselves for, you know, the first day or so. And then, um, after that, you know, they would come out. I could, I'd leave the door open during the day, but then at nighttime, I would shut with just as in there so that they still had a break. Um, Little Miss spent the week hiding under the bed in the back room, except at night when she'd get out and, you know, sniff me. And Max was the adventurous one that was, as soon as I'd open the bedroom door, he'd be out looking around, um... Pretty much holding his own. He got to where he's holding his own with Angie, the dog. Um, Angie is likes to cuddle, and she doesn't like anyone else to cuddle or cut, you know, come near the human when she's cuddling, which is all the time. So Angie would, you know, chase the, any, any of the cats off and then come back and cuddle up. So, but we did good and got home last night. Um, Little Miss, poor Little Miss is so traumatized. She's she's hissing even at Max. We got into the house and she got she hissed at anything that moved once we got here. But she settled down pretty quickly. So she's back to normal now. Max is back to normal. Of course, you know, I've got the camera out. So, of course, he's got to come cuddle. Um, I started last night because I got home at like 9.30. Um, David and Chuck were a little bit later coming in than they had planned, which was fine. And... Um, we stopped at McDonald's on the way back home and and it took them forever to bring the food out. So, but you know, it's all good. I got home, I was gonna put just the essentials, which for me is my TV. That was the first thing I did because I, I have to have that background noise. I just, if, if it's silent, then I can't focus, you know, and I'm off, you know, scattershot, whatever, you know, thought comes in my head. So, you know, I'll be settling, setting Excel and then the next thing I know, I'm Googling uni unicorn farts or something. Um, but if I have background noise, then I can focus a lot better, which is completely opposite of what, you know, normal humans are, but I guess that's the joys of ADHD. Um, anyway, so I, first thing I did was, was get the TV put up, which took a bit of, um, cause you know, you gotta be coordinated and it probably would have helped if I had had a second person, but I did it on my own. Did that and then, you know, to put up some medicine and um, make my bed and whatnot, and but it's once I got started unpacking, I just couldn't stop till everything was put up, and which is nice because that means I didn't have to do it today because I had to get up early to go to the dentist this morning. Yay! Um, I like my dentist; she's good, and um, she does good work. But I hate getting up because in the morning. So my appointment was at 9, which mean, meant I had to get up at 7 to catch a 7.40 bus to get there on time. So, but, you know, there was plenty of time to play with the arm about um, traveling. So, um, to show you the work, what I did while I was at David and Chuck's. And, yay, I'm in a mystery box from Lion Brand. So we'll open that. So first thing we have, um, let's go to the, okay, Monday is, okay, Monday is a project that I do with Sabrina, so that one is still secret until, um, we, until it's finished, like the last project that we did. But I started a new block, and it took me several tries to get started, to get it, not to get started, but to figure it out. But I got it figured out, and it's fun. And, I did almost the entire block in one day, so there's two blocks for each pattern. So I'll work on that next Monday. Tuesday is um, I worked on my career or my Google career certificate, so I learned about the hardware of a computer, like CPUs and RAM and ROM and all that fun stuff, and did a simulation of actually install, you know, putting a computer together. So that was what I did yesterday. Today is Wednesday, so it is a monthly scarf. This is what I've got so far. I haven't measured it yet. Um, I guess I 
can do that real quick. I swear I can still smell you know, the smell of the drill makes when it's drilling on my tooth. It's, I mean, it's not a horrible smell. It's just odd, but um, weird that I can smell it, which means probably just a phantom smell. Okay, 21 times 2, so 42 inches. I don't think it's going to make it to 60 inches because where did it go? This is all the yarn I have left of this color. And I looked online at Walmart to see how much it would cost to get another skein of this particular color. Because it's Ray Heart with Love, so it's not, you know, super pricey. But it's, it was like um, $7 for the skein, which isn't bad. But I didn't want to buy a skein of yarn just to use a small fraction of it and then have a partial skein again. So um, it's just going to be a shorter scarf. So it will still keep someone warm. And then a very, my out and about project with the arm. Is the, we're back to, well, the, the scarf, because I can do this. I've got the pattern memorized for the scarf. The once it's done, then, so I haven't worked on this in a while. Come back here with that, you little, Max just took off with the yarn ball. Hang on. Usually it's Little Miss that um, will take off with the skeins of yarn. First time I've seen Max do it. So, so that, cut up on those two. Okay, so that's Wednesday. Thursday is Francis Tuttle studying. Um, I don't think I really care what I'm doing in Excel and um, accounting, just kind of reviewing over that stuff. And Friday, Friday is, sorry, I had a brain hiccup, the Latch and Loop Pillow Kit, which I am getting close to being done. So pull it out. This much, and it's got to go up to to that. Um, that's that's the top row. So that's or somewhere in that vicinity is the top row. It said to make to leave an inch for border all the way around, so that's the inch from the top. So I will go till I run out of yarn, run out of space. Get that back in there. I thought when I went to David's house, I took the my um what do I call that thing? My weighted blanket. Because I got a duvet cover and I couldn't figure out how to get it on myself because it would have been so much simpler if it would have been like a just huge pillowcase shape, you know, open on one end. But no, it had to be completely enclosed, zipper, you know, and then trying to figure out the, the ties and the whatnot, it took the two of us Probably close to half an hour to get it put together. Um, we got it together, but I took it over the took it with me, so I had that at David's house. And I thought I took my knee pillow with me. I could have swore I took my knee pillow with me. I could have swore that the first night that I slept with it, but then I couldn't find it after that. And I, of course, I blamed Angie because Angie's the one that steals everything. Couldn't find it. Went all over the house, looking everywhere, could not find it. Could not find it. Finally, I used remember that I have um, gift cards for Walmart that. The Walmart grocery, when I, when I order my Walmart, my groceries for delivery to Walmart, they, it never will take the, um, the gift cards. It all just is not, not acceptable for whatnot. So I have just been holding on to these two gift cards that are just taking up space in my wallet. And so I ordered a new knee, a knee pillow. It just, and it's a traditional one. So it's been refilled. It's nice. I um, had it delivered to David's house. So I'm sleeping with it. And then I had to stop by 
the other day at my house to when my package came in so I could take it inside so it didn't get stolen. I didn't found that my regular knee pillow was sitting on my couch, so I just never took it with me. So I blamed Andy for nothing. She got a treat when I got back to the house. So okay, so that was the Friday project. Saturday is oh the drama from from Saturday. I may I, I may attach the video so that I can see. You know, I have been talking about how this is on stocking stitch till it's um, 26 inches long. I misread the pattern or misunderstood the pattern or just had it complete and total brain fart for the last two months on it. Because it says, you know, after you get the, um, the ribbing and, you know, whatnot, but it says you work the same as the back until the 26 inches. So I was thinking 26 inches of the stock of the stocking stitch and then I go into the pattern. No, I at 13 and a half inches was supposed to go to the stocking stitch. I caught it at like 20 and a half inches. So I had to frog seven inches of this. So that might, my little horror doing that. But I got a frog, got it put back on there, got started on the, the oak pattern. So we're just barely beginning, so but I have I will get there. So but it's because I'm in the pattern part, I have to have the I haven't memorized the this yet and probably won't. So this project is now back to where I work on it at home. So it's not my out and about project. So got that. And then my sister's cardigan made quite a bit of progress on it that is the front not the I can find the sleeve in this project I think it's funny it takes three counters we have the because I'm doing the increases on the sleeves this is the number of stitches that I'm up to per row this is my row of my uh, repeat counters because it's, it's a four row repeat and I've got to do 21 repeats. So I'm up to 13. And then this is, I count my rows within the, the repeat. So it takes three counters. And I was doing most of the count work on my phone, but then my phone, you know, it times out. The display times out, you know, before you... Uh, before I'd finish a row, so it was just irritating. And I have plenty of counters, so I may as well use that. Where, oh where? Aha, found it. There we go. So I've got this much of the sleeve. So I'm making a lot of progress on it. And after I get that sleeve done, then I do the button band, then I I thought I had to do the button band and the um, the collar before I started sewing it together, but Sabrina reminded me that you try to do the button band. I stitched the shoulder pieces together and then do the collar and then, you know, all that that I don't want to think about yet because that's the absolute worst part of every project. I hate sewing the pieces together even more than I hate casting on. Speaking of casting on, I should, I've got a book of cast on and mine off, and I need to, I should learn new ways to do it, just because I'm really sick. I use a long tail cast on, so. Now, let's look at this project that was delivered by FedEx, and FedEx would not let me um, hold the package for pickup or, you know, whatnot, because they said, you know, it was... Got delivered most of the way through FedEx, and then it was supposed to be hand, hand, handed off to the post office for the final delivery. Which I was like, okay, well that's fine, because I had my mail on hold while I was at David's house, and that included them holding my packages. So I was like, okay, well I'll hold it. And then, for whatever reason, FedEx decided to deliver it the whole way, so then I had no warning. First I was getting, um, the tracking was showing that it was supposed to show up on Tuesday. Which I was like, okay, you know, that's fine, I can get Tuesday. And... Then on Saturday, I got a text message out of the middle of nowhere that was like, oh, yeah, your package has been delivered. So I had to run home and 
bring it inside the house. Which, um, I have my security camera, and you know it alerts me if there's motion and whatnot. And apparently, I never noticed this while I was, you know, before. Probably just because I have so many notifications for the the motion sensor, you know, going off all the time anyway. But the lamp that I have in my one of the lamps I have in my living room, when it turns on automatically and turns back off, it sets off the motion detector. So then the um, I kept getting alerts. So I knew my camera was working, but nobody, you know, my package was there when I got to pick it up Saturday, and no one else seemed to mess with my house. So I was nice. Um, I know I have to notice Saturday as I was driving by that there's, I live in a quadplex, so there's four apartments in this house, and the two front apartments are boarded up, so they're now empty. I haven't seen the neighbor next door to me in the back for months. Um, when the housing authority was out to do the annual housing inspection, they commented that he had said that he was looking to move, so I may be the only one living out here. Um, we still have the homeless camp across the street that the cops came and evicted, and they stayed evicted for all of like three hours and then were back in the shed. So, you know, I just want, you know, I help when I can, but I have a limit and it's getting trashy over there. Um, but, you know, people keep telling me, it's like, you know, I need to look for a different place, which I don't live in the best neighborhood, but, you know, I'm used to it, and I sure as hell do not want to pack all my stuff up and move. Oh, I just dread the thought even of trying to get the couch out back out of the apartment. But, I mean, it, it's in a perfect spot for me, really, because I'm half a mile from St. Anthony, which is where I get my ECT, so that if I need to walk to the session and then get picked up, you know, so, so like a check has to pick me up or something, I can walk to my session and then, you know, have my ride pick me up afterwards. Um... I am close by one, two, three, four different bus routes or within you know, like a couple block walking distance. You know, I'm, it's just, it's a really good location. And as far as crime, other than the porch pirates that seem to not be messing with me lately, um, really haven't had crime. I've worried more about crime than what I probably need to do. So, I'm not moving if I don't have to. So anyway, so let's look in this mystery box. Looks like we've got nine, nine skeins. So we have Vanish Choice. Fine branch. This is called Lemon Pepper. I have no idea why it's lemon pepper. I don't know who came up with the name for this. Taupe, maybe? Lemon pepper. I do not get lemon pepper. It's not yellow enough. And pepper, I would have figured for darker color. Who knows? Anyway, it is made in Turkey. Come on. It is 100% acrylic. You know, and it, it's a medium four. And it's, you know, I mean, it feels just like the standard acrylic. The neat thing is apparently it helps. Um, they contribute towards St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which is awesome. St. Jude's is a good thing. And Vanna's Choice, Vanna White, isn't that like the, the Will of Fortune lady? I'm going to have to Google how she got involved in the yarn. So, there's that one. Then we have, this one is Basic Stitch Premium. This one. And it is, it's medium four, 100% acrylic. And it's called Goldmine. Lemon pepper and Goldmine. I don't get where the gold mine name came from on this one either. 
it's a little bit softer than the Vans Choice, or the, um, but it's still, you know, pretty, pretty basic. So, these colors will probably, I'll have to look for a pattern, see if I can find a pattern that needs, like, that amount of yards, because it's 219 yards per skein in that one. And this one is 170 yards per skein. So see if I can find a, a pattern for that size. Oh, and Little Mrs. Yarn Ball. We have lost the other one again. But not Yarn Ball. Her Treat Ball. She loves this thing. And then we have this one. It's been, oh, a cotton blend. Ice cream cotton blend. Just look at how fun that is. And it is 225 yards. Um, per skein, 47% cotton, 53% acrylic, medium four. What? A, oh, and they call this line. Okay, line makes sense. So, this one is kind of a fun color. And it's pretty soft. It's softer than I would expect. With, I, I never expect cotton yarn to be very soft. Uh, probably because most of the cotton, cotton yarn I have is meant for like kitchen towels or whatnot, so it doesn't need to be soft. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, it says it is a, it's a medium four, but you look at the thread, it's a little bit, just a little bit smaller than the other ones. So, but that's fine. So that's something I'll have to come up with a project for. And 225 yards per skein. And of course, linebrand.com has over 8,000 free patterns. So I'll have to go look there, find, uh, find some patterns. So, and then, oh, you know, just the packing slip. So that was cool. So that's what I got in that one. Um, not a whole lot of yarn, but I don't need a whole lot of yarn. I've got my yarn wall that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, and I've already come up with the next project that I want to do for my sister. Uh, I saw it on Facebook and then I, but it, rem it reminded me of Sabrina so I sent it to Sabrina. And it reminds me of my sister. It's, it's a fillet sh um, crochet scarf and it's got a rose in it. So my sister used to run way back at the beginning of the internet you know before chat rooms there was these actually really kind of before the whole internet like we know it now there was these things called bbs's bulletin board systems you would dial you know someone would host a bbs in their house and people would dial in specifically to that person's house so like you, you didn't have like a well you have like one number that you, you would call with the AOL for dial up you would call a different number for each bbs they had chat rooms, they had different games, whatnot. Um, my sister introduced me to them, and I used to play this text-based role-playing game that was Legend, Lord, Legend of the Red Dragon. I absolutely loved that game. And every so often, I will Google it and find it where I can play it online, and I will get lost in it again. Um, but my sister ran a bulletin board called um, Addicted to Rose Garden, or Addie's Rose Garden. So, um, I always associate roses with her, so... But anyway, that is where I am for today. I've got grocery delivery anytime after 2, which is in like 10 minutes. Um, and then I am going to work on the scarf, see if I can finish up the scarf, um, the July scarf tonight, and then maybe get started on the August scarf. And then just sit there and watch YouTube and relax. Um, Tomorrow, I don't think I have anything on. I can't think of anything on the schedule. Tomorrow, I mean, out of the ordinary. The cats do have to go to the vet a week from Friday, so that's going to be fun taking them on the bus. Um, they'll survive, but we don't have to do it once every six months, so it's just a normal checkup. Um, other than that, things are going good. And um, oh, before I forget, when David dropped me off and helped me bring myself in, he gave me a hug before he left. And I got to thinking last night, that was the first time I have hugged somebody in over a year. So, which was kind of neat. Um, 
very well maybe another year before I hug anyone else again, but you never know. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Hello. See this? This is my lovely sweater. This is all I have left of this game. If you want to see the horror, what I'm about to have to do, make sure I know how many stitches are left. Those are 107 stitches right here. Look at this. Look, this is the anti. Because I'm not going to frog this tw 7 inches one stitch at a time. The horror. Uh, there, it's, it's off. Look, now I have to do this for seven inches. Lovely me. But for today's comedic example of um, how ECT gives me the occasional brain hiccup, I stood in my friend's kitchen for five solid minutes, literal five minutes, trying to find his oven. Um, thinking I'm, I spent most of that time staring at the microwave, trying to figure out if it was one of those microwave slash convection oven combo units, uh, before I finally remembered that his oven is on his wall, because it's not under his, you know, he has the, the microwave, then the stovetop, and then there's cabinets, and then turn 90 degrees, and there's the oven on the wall. So yeah, so that was today's dysfunction. Um, this is today's realization. So I'm going to deal with this mess.